When it comes to smartphones, I generally recommend Android, not because they provide better privacy and security, I think that title actually goes to iOS when compared to vanilla Android, but the real reason I recommend it, especially on a Google Pixel, is because of the fact that the OS is less locked down in that implementation. You can gain root access to your device and modify any of the system files, and you can de-Google your phone, which means removing every single pre-installed Google service from it, giving you much better privacy. And you can even swap out the entire operating system for something different without having to leave the bootloader unlocked. But imagine if just having a Google Pixel phone resulted in you getting harassed by your local police, because the moment they see you answer a call or send a text on it, they assume that you must be a criminal attempting to contact your fellow criminal associates. Well, this is actually the reality right now in Catalina. The national police there have been ramping up their war on drugs, and in the age of smartphones, most of this warfare is conducted in the digital space by the police conducting mass online surveillance of people and even attempting to hack into suspects and their associates' devices with malware. So of course, the unlicensed pharmaceutical distributors in Catalina started stepping up their digital security by using encrypted communication apps and even going so far as to install Graphene OS on their Pixel phones. Now, in case you didn't know, Graphene OS is a custom ROM that you can install pretty much just exclusively on Pixel phones, which improves the privacy and security of that Android implementation from the bottom up. And frankly, it creates one of the most secure smartphones that a civilian can easily get in their hands, way more private and secure than even an iPhone. Graphene OS also provides a lot of tracking mitigations by limiting the fingerprinting capability of apps and Graphene OS is completely de-Googled. So a lot of that tracking information from things like Google Maps, Google Chrome, the Google search engine that police agencies around the world rely on to track people just isn't available if you're using Graphene OS. There's lots of granular settings to control what apps are able to access on your phone and Graphene OS provides dozens of user profiles that you can use to further separate what data your apps have access to. And law enforcement are particularly frustrated with Graphene OS's mitigations against both consensual and non-consensual data extractions. Now, I don't really know much about this country's laws or how their law enforcement operates, but here in the United States, if you're arrested, or even if you're detained for an investigation by the police, there's a good chance that they're gonna wanna go through your phone if they think that it contains any evidence of a crime. And like I said, we're in a digital age, so obviously a lot of criminals are using their phones in the process of doing crime. Now, with a consent-based search, as it's called, the police are going to ask you to enter the code on your phone and unlock it for them. Uh, but of course, if you have thumbprint unlock or face ID enabled, then there's a good chance that the police can force you to unlock the phone that way by just scanning your face or maybe uh, getting your fingerprint if you're in handcuffs. But if you don't have biometrics and you refuse to unlock your phone, then the police are going to seize it from you and probably arrest you as well. And back at their headquarters or in a mobile forensic unit, they're going to connect your phone to a device that's going to attempt to hack into it and extract all of the data from your phone. And then they'll be able to see everything that you had on it. Now, the success of this data extraction mostly relies in keeping the phone in its after first unlock or AFU mode. This is the setting that phones are pretty much always in unless you power them off or you reboot the phone. And in this state, in the AFU state, the decryption keys for your phone's file system are saved in its RAM. And so with Cellbrite's hacking tools that they provide to law enforcement, they're able to most of the time recover that data um, from most phone models that are in the AFU mode. But once a device is rebooted and then before the pin code is put into it, the phone is in what's called before first unlock or BFU mode. Biometric unlock usually gets disabled in BFU mode and the encryption keys are not saved into the device's RAM. So the attack surface is much smaller and typically the only way to reliably get data off a phone in this mode is to guess the pin. And the secure element that's in more modern smartphones 
makes that brute forcing process much, much harder. Graphene OS has a feature that automatically reboots your phone every 18 hours enabled by default, which puts it into the before first unlock mode. Newer versions of vanilla Android also have a similar feature, but it's not enabled by default. And I think when you do enable it by default, it only reboots your phone every three days or so. Uh, so anyway, if you're using Graphene OS and you haven't gone out of your way to turn off that security setting, then the police are going to have 18 hours at best to try and hack into your phone and try to extract the encryption keys from RAM before it reboots and then this process becomes pretty much impossible. Graphene OS also disables USB-C connections and data transfers from new devices until the phone is unlocked and the connection is allowed. So those mitigations would also have to be bypassed before the Cellbrite can even start trying to hack into Graphene. Now for the so-called consensual data extractions where you give up your phone password to the police or unlock it for them, possibly under duress, Graphene OS has a mitigation for that which is very appropriately called duress pin. Essentially, this is a secondary pin that you can enter on the unlock screen that will wipe your device and any eSIMs that are installed into it. And if you do use fingerprint unlock, then Graphene OS limits the number of attempts to five. So you have a much better chance of doing five false unlocks, like using the wrong fingers, or maybe if you've got your hands behind your back and police are trying to force you to unlock it, you can you know, either present the wrong finger or maybe just mess it up enough to get it to disable fingerprint unlock and then require the pin. Whereas in vanilla Android, I think you get 20 or so attempts. So yeah, obviously five is gonna be much more secure. The multi-profile feature also allows you to log into one profile without decrypting any data for another. So you could have a decoy profile that doesn't have any sensitive data on it that you unlock instead as a way to comply with a warrant or you know comply with your password being requested under duress without actually giving up any incriminating evidence. However, if the phone does end up getting rebooted, then the admin profile actually does need to be logged into before any other profile can be logged into. So Graphene OS, along with good OPSEC, really gives you a major privacy and security boost, so much so to the point that law enforcement agents are starting to profile people just based on the type of smartphone they choose to use. And obviously from a distance, the cops can't tell if you're using Graphene OS or Lineage OS or anything else, they would actually have to get up close and personal to verify that. And I'm sure that nine times out of 10 people in Catalina are just using stock Android on their Google Pixels. But imagine how triggered the police over there would be if they actually did start discovering Graphene OS every single time, or at least most of the time, that they just talk to any run-of-the-mill Pixel user. Imagine you have two phones and you're trying to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a regular Pixel phone that's running stock vanilla Android and then one running Graphene OS. The police over there might actually think that you're Pablo Escobar. So I guess that that's a great way to troll police who don't want the citizens of their country to have any decent privacy. Get a second Pixel phone and just casually install Graphene OS on it. Use it as like a portable MP3 player or whatever. Just, just use it. And you know what? If you really want to mess with them, install Signal on it too and just occasionally text yourself on Signal and give yourself a username on there that sounds like some sort of drug kingpin. That's probably the best way to speed run going to jail in Catalina. But unironically, you should install Graphene OS on your phone if you want to have better privacy and you just don't want the police to be actively scanning what you're doing and monitoring and tracking you because they're literally doing that to everybody. It's not even people who are suspects, just tracking where everybody goes and then they filter out suspects from that data. So install Graphene OS today. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and check out my online store, base.win, where you can buy my awesome merch or accessories for your phone or laptop. 10% storewide discount when you pay with Monero XMR checkout. Have a great rest of your day.